Ad Astra Abisca. Welcome to Genshin Impact and D&D Traveler. I'm Zeo Striker and I'm here to guide you on this commission. Today we'll be talking about the blacksmith of Natalan, Shalonin. Starting out, we'll pick Shalonin's species, which will be a tabaxi. She gets proficiency in dwarvish, perception, and stealth. She gets a climb speed equal to her walking speed, dark vision up to 60 feet, and cat's claws that let Shalonin use her claws for unarmed strikes. Lastly, she gets feline agility, which lets her double her movement for a turn, and she can't use this again until she spends a turn not moving. Next is Shalonlin's background, which is artisan. She gets proficiency with investigation, persuasion, and smith's tools. Then she gets the origin feat, crafter, which gives her a table of fast crafts and the tool proficiencies of leather workers, weavers, and carpenters. She finishes with a plus two to dexterity and a plus one to charisma. Now finishing with Shalonin's stats. She'll go standard array and get an eight in strength, 14 in dexterity, 13 for constitution, 10 in intelligence, 12 in wisdom, and a 15 in charisma. Thanks to Artisan, Shalonin wraps up with a 16 in both dexterity and charisma. Shalonin will start off as a bard. Level one bard gives her proficiency in hand drums, drums, the viol, insight, acrobatics, and survival. She also gets bardic inspiration, which lets her inspire others as a bonus action to let them add a die to their d20 test roll. She also picks up some spells here. Here she gets the cantrips mending and prestidigitation, and the first level spells cure wounds, healing word, silvery barbs, and speak with animals. Level two bard gives Shalona an expertise in persuasion and acrobatics. She also gets Jack of All Trades, which grants her half proficiency in all skills she isn't already proficient in. She also picks up the spell Identify. At level 3 bar, Shalonin gets her subclass, the College of Dance. This gives her dazzling footwork, which when she isn't wearing armor or a shield, she gets advantage with performance checks made with dancing, an AC equal to 10 plus her dexterity and charisma modifiers, have her unarmed strikes be made with dexterity instead of strength, and they deal damage equal to her bardic die. When she uses Bardic Inspiration, she can make an unarmored attack as a part of the same action. She also gets access to level 2 spells here and picks up Mirror Image. At level 4 Bard, Shalonin gets an ability score improvement, being a plus 2 to Charisma, making it an 18. She also gets another cantrip being True Strike and the second level spell, Kinetic Jaunt. Level 5 Bard gets Shalonin Font of Inspiration, which restores her Bardic Inspiration on a short rest or a long rest. She can use spell slots to give her more uses as well. She also gets access to third level spells and picks up the spells Catnap and Mass Healing Word. Level 6 Bard gives Shalonin Tandem Footwork and Inspiring Movement. Tandem Footwork lets Shalonin spend a Bardic Inspiration at the initiative roll to roll a die and add that roll to all allies' initiative roll who are close by. Inspiring Movement lets Shalonin use a reaction and a Bardic to move half her movement when an enemy ends near her, and then one ally can also use the reaction to move half their movement. These movements don't provoke opportunity attacks. She also picks up the spell Dispel Magic. With that, we can jump over to Fighter for a few levels. At level 1 Fighter, Shalonin gets Fighting Style Dueling, which when she uses only one weapon in a hand, it deals two extra damage. She also picks up the Weapon Mastery's Rapier Vex, Whip Slow and Short Sword of Vex. Vex on hit gives Shalona an advantage on her next attack roll against the target, while slow reduces the target speed by 10 feet on hit. She also gets Second Wind, which lets her use a bonus action to spend a use to regain hit points based on her fighter level. At level 2 fighter, Shalona gets Tactical Mind and Action Search. Tactical Mind lets her use a Second Wind use instead of healing to add a d10 to her skill check to potentially succeed, and if she fails, then she gets the use back. Action Surge lets Shalonin make a non-magic action on her turn, but can't do so again until a short or long rest. Level 3 Fighter gets Shalonin the subclass Battlemaster. Battlemaster gives Shalonin proficiency in athletics and tinkerer tools, which she can use with fast crafting. Combat superiority gives her three maneuvers being trip attack, lunging attack, and distracting strike, and four uses of the three maneuvers total. Trip attack lets an attack deal extra damage and then make the target make a save or be knocked prone. Lunging attack lets her use a dash action as a bonus action, and if she moves five feet and hits with an attack, she can deal extra damage. And Distracting Strike on hit lets her deal extra damage, and if the target attacks somebody other than her, they have disadvantage on said attack. Level 4 Fighter gives Shalonin another ability score improvement and another weapon mastery. She picks up Dagger Nick, which lets her make an extra attack from light property as part of the same attack action. Then the ability score improvement will be a plus 2 to Charisma, making it a total of 20. At level 5 Fighter, Shalonin gets Tactical Shift and extra attack. Tactical Shift lets her move half her speed when she uses Second Wind, which doesn't provoke attacks. Extra Attack lets Shalonin make two attacks with her action instead of one. 
At level 6 fighter, Shalona gets another ability score improvement, being a plus 2 to dexterity, making it an 18. With fighter done, Shalona can jump back over to Bard. Level 7 Bard gives her counter charm, where if she or an ally fails a save that causes a charmed or frightened condition, Shalona can use a reaction to have the save be rerolled and it gets advantage on the new roll. She also gets access to 4th level spells and picks up Polymorph. Level 8 Bard gives Shalona another ability score improvement, which will be a plus 2 to dexterity, making it a 20. She also picks up the spell Font of Moonlight. At level 9 Bard, Shalona gets expertise in athletics and survival and can get access to 5th level spells, which she picks up Mask Cure Wounds and Regal Presence. At level 10 Bard, Shalona gets Magical Secrets. This lets Shalona learn any spell from the Bard, Cleric, Druid, and Wizard classes, so when she can learn a new spell or replace an old spell, she can take any from those classes. Speaking of which, she picks up the cantrip Thunderclap and the third level spell Erupting Earth. Level 11 Bard gives Shalolan access to 6 level spells, but she'll just pick up the second level spell Shatter. If there's a 6 level spell that fits her, leave it in the comments. Level 12 Bard gives Shalolan another ability score improvement, and she'll pick up the feat Speedy. This gives her a plus 1 to constitution, making it a 14. She also gets an extra 10 feet of movement speed. If she takes the dash action, then difficult terrain doesn't affect her, and all opportunity attacks have disadvantage on her from now on. At level 13 Bard, Shalolan gets access to 7th level spells and picks up Power Word Fortify. The final level for Shalolan will be level 14 of Bard, which gives her leading evasion. When she makes a deck save and succeeds, she takes no damage and only half damage on a fail. Any allies that are right next to her also benefit from this feature. And that concludes Natlan's best and laziest blacksmith, Shalom. She's great with her work-life balance despite her personality, but thank you Traveler for watching this video. You can find more commissions to watch here and leave a comment if there's anything you would change for this build. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe too. Until next time, I wish you all a great morning, evening, or afternoon. Ciao ciao!